Richard Gasquet to serve for set. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Early days, no need to panic. Bit of a gasp from the crowd when Murray misses a shot. They've been looking forward to this match. First game. Do you remember your first, last 16 match in a slam? Wow, um, that's put me on the spot as I quickly rack through my brain. Um, it must have been here at Wimbledon, and uh, so it would have been 96, and it would have been Magnus Gustafsson. And uh, I have a lot of good memories of it, actually. Yeah, yeah. Murray, apart, apart from you can remember it. I remember it now. Right, good diving volley in it. Fifteen months. Thirty love. Forty love. Carlos Ramos in the chair, the most exposed seat in the house. Forty fifteen. It's not a bad shot from Murray, this quite a good slice, but it just gives Gasquet time, and with big swings, that's what he wants. And when he executes shots like that, really what he's looking for. game all for set. I think either of these players are noticing the environment that they're in or, or what are they noticing if they are? I think early stage of the match they're just trying to get their feel for the ball and, and the shots their opponents are hitting. Familiar face.
love 15. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. He'll like playing out here, Gasquet. Finds it quite difficult to play at the French Open in front of his own crowd, but this is just his sort of place. The last time the Frenchman was here, he really couldn't give his best against Federer. There was nothing left in last year's semi-final after that victory over Roddick in the quarter-final. A victim of the weather as much as Federer. Let the service... Forty thirty. Game, Gusky. Seven minutes played. Gaske Three leads. games. Two games to one. Gasquet, two one. So nothing to choose between these two players. Bright sunshine play available until nine o'clock. Many would say that this is a five set potential match. We'll see early stages. chance to go where he's never been before to a quarter final of a grand slam event it's his home event he's one two down Point first set please, ladies and gentlemen thank you crowd just settling into this match as the players are 15 miles. Mary's challenging the call on the left service line. The ball's called out. You're allowed three challenges a set. You get another one if it goes to a tiebreaker. If you're correct, you maintain your amount of challenges. And on this occasion, Andy Murray was wrong. So he'll lose a challenge. He has two left. Second serve. Fifteen all. Murray has two challenges remaining. Takes the pressure off the umpires, this electronic line review system called Hawkeye. Halt. Oh. 
15.30. Ball boy just caught the ball there before it bounced. Listen, listen, these kids work hard. They do about an hour on court before they're changed. A team of six only. And they really do get very, very stiff at the end of the day. They work hard. Nice catch, mind. It's just great execution and also at 1 2 15 30, it's dangerous, risky time, but got that shot as good as any. Forty thirty. Two games off for set. That was a big drop shot to play, wasn't it? 15-30 uh, and then a cheeky lob over Gasquet's head as well. That'll make the team nervous, pretty relaxed at the moment. Murray's uh, group relegated to the back of the player box today. Well, he, he was really trying to push off very hard for the drop shot. Read it early and the back foot probably went. There it goes. About a four for the dive. Four? I think we can do better than that. No height on it. Challenging the call on the right baseline. The ball's called good. So what he's saying by challenging Carlos Ramos there is, I think Gasquet's backhand was out. And we've got two of these screens in here on centre court. And the ball was well good. That's two challenges gone. 30 love. Murray has one challenge remaining. Seemed like that was a good challenge because it did appear to be a little bit long, but the, the one before the serve was a bit of a waste. At... <laughs> Most Here the comes ball, another the one. Service line. Ball's called good. He's only got one challenge left. I mean, this, I mean, judging from the both players' reactions, that this is a, a challenge that will be correct. Oh, okay. Andy looking at the umpire to say way out. Great return of serve there. It wasn't actually the, the pace of the shot. It was how early, early he took the ball, and, and that uh, took a lot of time away from Gasquet. Aye. 
40-30. He lost his composure against Marcus Bagdatis. A little bit found the situation difficult when he was last in this situation back in 2006. He'd beaten Roddick. He found Bagdatis a step too far. He mustn't overpress in this match, just play his tennis. Oh dear, that was uh, nasty. And yeah, she's nothing. saying it doesn't hurt, and we hope that is the case. That was a rising serve, but over 130 miles an hour. And here it is, just gets through the gate there. Oh, well, yes, I'm fine, but I wouldn't mind if I could just leave for 10 minutes. Yes, right on the chest bone there, that's very uncomfortable. Oof, bit of a thud, that a little bit up and to the left, and she would have got it in the throat, which would have been horrible. But that was a big serve for a relatively well, little guy. Gasquet is six foot one, and he doesn't look it. Well, next change all the ball, no, it's deceptive, and, and I think his, de serve is de uh, his serve is deceptive as well. He's really improved it, and now he's getting a lot more pop on it. And um, I think it's going to be one of the deciding factors. Um, who's going to be able to you know, keep holding serve? And It's a very quick motion, so therefore quite difficult to read. He likes the wide slice serve. Murray serving, he's 2-3 down. Oh. 15 months. We have an addition to our commentary box. Some of you may have thought that it was the quietest commentary John McEnroe has ever done, but actually he just, <laughs> he just wasn't here. Did Hi, you John. guys miss me? We did. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything okay? Thank you. Everything's great. great. You know, we've I just done all the Nadal dominate. And we've done all the facts and figures. Okay. Doesn't seem a whole lot's gone on yet. Thirty fifteen. Murray was 15-30 down on a service game and played a drop shot and managed to hoist a <laughs> it's lob. It's a good thing over. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a risky play. You'd have had a lot to say about it. It's one of these matches to me when the draw was made. You look at a match as this round of 16 runs, very enticing. Two of the, the most talented young players out there. Game's all for set. Andy Murray, second youngest man left at the last 16 stage. So before we all get ahead of ourselves and think he can win Wimbledon, just remember where he is in the pecking order here. I mean, 11 in the world, former top 10. A year ago, he was number eight. But uh, beginning to think about new territory this week. Great anticipation, and even though he's way back in the court, just times that so sweetly. I don't know if the sun was an issue for Gasquet, but when you got a guy 10 feet behind the baseline, you should try to angle off those sure, overheads. Yeah. Yeah, hit it right back to him. Still a great shot. Yeah. 
Murray has challenged twice already, so he's just got the one challenge remaining. Yeah, I tell you, this guy's got some serious pop on his serve. That overhead was about 136 too, as was the serve. The guy six feet tall, uh, he's really hammering him down. Does he do chin ups too, like sets of five with, you know, 20 kilo? It looks, like it. it looks like <laughs> it if he's serving like that, because uh, he used to be a little bit of a weakness in his game. I thought his serve was slightly unorthodox, but now it looks much more fluent and certainly much more powerful. I would expect to see some long, high quality extended rallies where someone's going to have to hit a run, winner like that on the run. It looked like Gasquet had that lined up. Gasquet leads four games to three for set. Yeah, we always talk about pressure for the British players. Nobody knows more about that than, than Tim Henman. But, you know, think about Richard Gasquet and playing in France. And I suppose at least he's got company at the very top of the game now. Songa was an Australian Open finalist this year, and Monfils and Grosjean over the years as well. But for Gasquet, perhaps a relief to be out of France after the French Open and the massive build well, up to all of that. He, he's folded totally at the French. I mean, he's gotten to the stage where he, you know, he pulled out this year. I mean, there's been talk about, hey, come on, what's going on here between the ears? Because Gasquet obviously is very talented. I've been told by his father, no less, that he's an extremely hard worker. Why is it then you go to a Davis Cup match? Now, admittedly, where you're playing in the United States and you get to the last day, you're down 2-1, you desperately need some wins. Your coach, Guy Forge, says, hey, Richard, we need you to play and beat Andy Roddick. I don't think I can do Time. that. Time. Yeah, some question about that uh, and, and, match against the States, John. And then didn't play. They lose, and then he plays the dead rubber. So there's still questions, and I like There's them. a few issues. There's some issues, but the talent is there. Wheels that racket like a magician. Which is why, even though Gasquet has beaten Murray both months. times they've played, including a match last year in Paris that helped him get to the Masters at the slightest of edge. Five sets, Murray. Wow. Fifteen all. Gasquet is one of those guys. If he doesn't feel a hundred percent, it doesn't take the court. His lawyer's going to want a word with you, John. Why is that? Thirty fifteen. Well, he'll say that he was really worried about his knee in the Davis Cup. He'll say he had a bit of a blister on there and he had to look after himself and there was possibly a, you know, a cyst that required surgery. What will he say at the Open last year, the U.S. Open, when he defaulted in the second round against Donald Young, who's a junior, because he said he didn't feel well. They took his temperature, no temperature. Well, that's your defense. <laughs> I'm impressed you've been doing your research as well. I was looking forward to calling that match. Let's 
second service. When you look at a Gasquet and you hear guys like Federer saying that this is the guy that he almost, most likes to watch, one of his favorite players, you want the guy to dig deep. He, he's capable of going all the way in a slam. That was a very clean strike from Gasquet at the back of the court. That single-handed backhand is heavy and her top's been on. And Murray is under significant pressure now. Break point down. Yes. Advantage, Murray. That's what Gasquet's team yes. wants to see him do. His tendency is to move back a la Andy Roddick. But he's a better returner and can hit the ball sweeter. It comes easier to him, his hands. He can step in and rip it. you up with that heavenly topspin ball just that inside the baseline and then he really rifles it. Roddick saw this happen to him last year when he took his career to a new level beating him from two sets down in the quarters. Using that very shot. Another chance for a Gasquet to break. Yes. It's a quality volley at that stage. Murray. It's a great surprise tactic that. Three, four juice is a big point, and suddenly on second serve, he's, he's serving volleyed, and, and uh, Gasquet's chipping a lot of second serve returns, so he was not expecting to see Murray at the net. Well, he came through the fire there. Two break points saved. 
Never afraid to just pop the ball in short and express the talent which he undoubtedly has. Going to be a tight match by the looks of it. Four all after half an hour. Oh. 50 months. Had some success already with that shot. He's got to be careful not to overuse that because Cascade's quick out there. Especially when Gasquet hit that tentative volley. I mean, he had a chance to really rip that passing shot. Shows you how much uh, he respects Murray's ability to hit passing shots on the run. He really tried to thread the needle up the line, just missed it. Hart stopped uh, ever so briefly there Very as he watched that drop. Left, yeah. side line. Another challenge for Murray. He'll be out of challenges if he. Well, if, they, if he gets this one wrong, he certainly will be, unless they go to the tie break where he'll get an extra one. But uh, this could be significant. And it's wide. And he's all done with challenges. 30 15. Murray has no challenges remaining. Think you should be able to buy one off your opponent? I think there should, if we can, yeah, that'd if we be a can, good idea. If we can like carbon that. trade, <laughs> we should be able to challenge trade. There's a new market available. Guy can do anything with that back there. 40 15. Such a precocious talent he was as well, Richard Gasquet. Number one in the world at the age of 15, and that's under 18s in the juniors. Oh. Nope, can't <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Game, Gasquet. Maybe, yes, maybe Gasquet can. Gasquet will offer him up one. Gasquet leads five games to four. Look long six. anyway. This is just for us and for you at Whoa. home. Oh, see? Interesting. See that? Okay, so we'll commentate as if he'd won the point from... <laughs> it's 40-30. <laughs> Gasquet should be serving. What's well, one of the first times that you've seen in a, in a set where that's come into play, where actually the, the fact that you can't challenge, because I didn't think it'd be much of an issue. But. I think there's, a, there's an important issue because uh, it, uh, Murray was serving 1-2-15 love. And uh, he hit a serve up the tee, and from where we were sitting, it, it looked out, and then he challenged it. And it's almost like there's got to be a bit of strategy to when you challenge. Mm. And so he used it then, ball was clearly out, and he's wasted one. And suddenly, for all, later on in the set, when you've got bigger points, yeah, he's but, missed out. But he was right on that one, so he maintained a challenge. He's got three wrong. He's right. got three wrong, but the, the first one that he got right. wrong, it cost him a challenge. And, it, and what I'm saying was it was a kind of a nothing point. Right. One, two, 15, right. love. Why waste one then? Four all. It's a great point, actually. And not only that, you could use it when you perhaps are fatigued in a point and there's a close ball. Mm. So you give yourself a little extra time. There's no doubt there's strategy involved. OK, back on court with Murray serving four, five. Fifteen months. Thirty months. Chief Executive casting his eye over proceedings. Called him the chairman earlier on. Mom's watching in Sunningdale. Everything's okay. Oh. 
215. There's the boss of bosses. It's Tim Phillips. He's the chairman. Talk to him about the hat, though. Needless to say, Gasquet hits the so ground shots with some authority. I mean, that ball is moving through the court. I mean, it's a difficult shot to handle, especially when it's so close to the line. He's going to get He's got three to go. The right service line. The ball's called good. No. No, you don't have a. Very important point. And the ball is, it out. is out. Wow. Second serve. If you don't say you're sorry when you 40, get a step let court, that you should get a challenge back, maybe. You know, get a <laughs> Line. The ball's called out. Uh, Murray didn't leave this. The ball went past him. I don't think yes. he could have played it. The only thing more annoying than a apologizing after a let court is watching doubles player high five after a return miss. <laughs> that should not be allowed. Or chest bumping. <laughs> <laughs> the Bryans do that in the warm up. It's taken an awful long time here. Here it comes. Pulls wide. And that's a big moment as far as Andy Murray is concerned. Yeah, because Murray. if it had been in, it would have been Gasquet's point and back at Juice. Five games off for set. Gasquet has two challenges remaining. start this game. What often happens when the crowd oozes and awes thought that Murray brush it was going to go long. So as an opponent you get thrown that little bit. He went for a little too big a shot there. Guys are going to test each other's fitness. I mean, this is just what I had hoped for. Highly competitive. Excellent first set.
30-15. Impressive stat that from Gasquet. I mean, he normally hits 11 volleys in a tournament. Let for service. Certainly comes in a lot more here at Wimbledon. He, this is his best surface, without a doubt. Let for service. Too good is an explanation of what's, what 40, just 30. happened because uh, that was an excellent approach. Up. I mean, he kept the ball low and had some good depth. I mean, off the back foot to put that much on it. I mean, at 30 all, 5 all, awesome shot. Gaske leads six games to five for set. Got to be really proud of him in Dunblane. Their favourite son on the banks of the River Allen, and hasn't he done well? From the age of 15, he made the decision, along with mum, Judy, and dad, Willie, who they'd said, well, do you, do you want to go to Spain? Do you want to go to the Casal Sanchez Academy? Do you want to leave home and go and do that? And he said, yes, he was prepared to make that sacrifice. And Tim Henman, it is a sacrifice to leave home at 15. Yeah, I think it is. But uh, he was very, <laughs> as he is with most things, he's very was very clear in his mind that that's what he wanted to do. And, and uh, I don't necessarily think there's a, a right or a wrong, but it's about finding what is best for you. And I think for the development of him as a player and as a person, okay. it was uh, you, you heard it was absolutely you spot on. He also got respect okay, and encouragement for like, Rafa Nadal, for one, that and uh, a willingness to do what, what it takes. The fact that he was willing to work so hard on a, a surface foreign to him, a clay court, and obviously pay dividends when you see guys like him work so hard. He's put on a lot of pounds, helped by those gents there in the weight room, and it's paid off in terms of the power of his serve and his ability to get round the court and stay balanced. A few pounds in the bank as well. And a few pounds in the bank. He's 5-6 and serving. Love 15. Conditions are outstanding, except for that shade that's starting to move over, which could make life a little tricky for the players. This match moves into the second set. 50 more.
That's two loose shots Fifteen. and three points. He's, he's feeling the heat, right? The pressure right now. He faced his break points from that end earlier on in the set. Two of them he faced and fought off. Let's for service. Tightening up. 15 40. The break points that he faces now are set points, two in a row. Thirty forty. Wants that ball back. Yeah. The Goran Ivanišević style. Mm. Thought you weren't going to talk about him again. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. for him to get to the ball. It looked like he was going to get there. And then he had the answer when he arrived. Use. Oof. Set point. Gasquet absolutely massacred that back end and still Thank lost you. the point. Gasquet Camp will be happy to see his willingness to move forward and take the initiative Gasquet. like he has here. It wasn't the easiest volley either. Not at Murray all. struck a great backhand. It's below the height of the net, and he just punched it deep. And he missed the arguably the easiest shot in the entire rally. Okay, so they've got to do it all again. Back to Juice. Tough shots in this game. That's uh, well done by Richard Gasquet to bounce back after a tough miss.
Last two first serves yes. in Murray's hit have been his hardest. 131 at make, 137 at deuce. And he is fired up. His weak aside. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. He generates so much power. Murray needs a first serve again. 99 mile an hour forehand from Gasquet and another set point, his fourth. Richard Gasquet as he takes his shirt off. That was a very fine set. first set here and it took everything everything from Andrew Murray to hang in this game the force of the attack Time. from Gasquet was quite something to behold this was one of many fantastic points a set point that he saved but Gasquet just kept up in the ante there just stuck with it so what does Murray do now I'll tell you it's what the type of match I expected uh, he's just going to have to sort of not let this whole thing get the best of him. Realize that Gasquet is playing some first class tennis. Second set. He just has to sort of. Second set, Gasquet to serve. Weather the storm you know, mentally. Well, at least he's not, he's not serving first. So he can settle down. Not sure if that's good or bad. Just thinking if he was upset from the first set. True. That's a fair point. It's a good idea by Murray to hit it short and angle it away miles. from Gasquet, who was behind the baseline. I played Gasquet twice in my career, and uh, I was trying to do this a lot. And I've never, I never played against someone who had more racket head speed on the passing shot. Sometimes I was just at the net, and they would buy you before you even knew it. You can see why this guy was on the cover of a French tennis magazine at seven. But even then, they recognize the talent, the hands. World number one at 15 years of age. Won a couple of the junior slams there. Qualified in Monte Carlo. One of the guys that he beat was Davidenko in the qualifying. Those are pretty strong qualities for the uh, <laughs> early season. Draw. Clay court event. Henman beat him twice. 
by the way. Those two That's times. well done. Thanks for getting that in, Andrew. Yeah. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Thought no one was going to ask. I was trying to be the team guy by not ask. It sounded like you were saying you had lost him. 14-15. Surprise tactic by Henman in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> percentage has been better uh, than Murray's in this match so far but clearly when he gets a second serve he's got to be aggressive like he was there Murray's at f only 46 for that first set game Gusky and that's first been game, one of the big differences sense. try to get that percentage up but we talked about how his serve has improved well when the going gets tough you got to keep it up above 60 especially when you're playing a guy as talented as Gasquet. And if he could get that first serve percentage up, it's going to give, uh, it's going to have an impact on the match because when he is getting the serve in, he's winning 86% of the first serve points. Guy bought or stole Federer's outfit there. Very limited edition, I believe. How many weeks has he been won? Because that's how many of those sweaters he made. 250 and counting somewhere in that neighborhood. Unbelievable effort. Fifty months. I know Nadal's been number two for three and a half years, and it's driving him mad. Winner of this match to play Nadal. Thirty love. One of the other things he needs to do is is to, for him to take the initiative more and get himself into net. Where so far, Gasquet's been one more formidable. is when he really needs to concentrate. If Miles McLagan, the coach, could get down there and just say, look, hit through the ball right now. He's probably still 30, thinking about 40. those missed drop shots. Two in a row he did. Now he throws in a double. This could prove to be a big moment for Murray. That break point was a big one. It's very close. For me, it's out. Late call nice that will be challenged by Murray. Line. Ball's called out. This is quite hopeful, and it's making him wait to hit his second serve. And that's been a little bit tentative just lately. And the ball was long. Gasquet holding play up.
Gasquet leads. Two games to left. If there's ever a game, Andrew, where he should has take a tape already. and realize that he overindulges himself with the drop shot, would be this one. Three what? of the four points were lost because of it and a double fault. Why can't he resist playing the shot? He knows it's not the right shot to play. Perhaps a bit intimidated by the quality of his opponent. It must be said, Gasquet was in superb form, setting a break up. 15 months. He's going to select a new racket, Tim. Yeah, what I would say is, is uh, practice doesn't always make perfect, but practice makes permanent. And uh, by all accounts, that's a shot he's been playing for, for his whole life. And, and uh, you know, there's a time and a place for it. It is a good shot, but he has to be selective. And when you play, you know, three in the space of four points and lose them all. Also That's against someone as fast as Gasquet. I mean, he covers some ground out there. <laughs> 30 love. His energy has been sapped at the moment. He's just uh, <clears throat> discouraged, obviously. Have slipped away from these last 10 minutes. The man in the hat is David Spearing, by the way. He lives in Abu Dhabi. He's done for 40 years. Does this job every year. 40 love. Oh, that's a line ball. All right, all right, all right. Can we give him the ball? Yes. Just, just wants the ball back He's again, just to check. Check to see if there's any pitch on, on it. Right? Mm. <laughs> Before he wastes another challenge. What was good? That's a sweet little run That's for so Gasquet it. here. Let for service. Guillaume Pair is the coach to uh, Richard Gasquet, and he said that Murray's the sort of player that can put you to sleep. Richard Gasquet has to go out there and just go to work on him straight away, and he has been by far the most active player out there, Gasquet. He's been making things happen. Absolutely. He's been uh, very aggressive with, with all his shots, and, and uh, you know, the last 15 minutes, Amazing how the, the match has really sort of taken shape and, and moved in Gasquet's direction. Four games in a row to be up a set and a break. Guillaume Pair used to work with Marcus Bagdadis and help, helped him to get to where he was a couple years ago when he got to a semis here in a final in Australia. And he's the latest in a fairly long line that have tried to get inside Gasquet's head. And I'm sure there's a very long list of coaches that would want to work with this guy. Sure. He's a great talent. Unbelievable talent. Oh, you boy. can see that. That's clear. One game for the ball change. Next game, the ball change. Next By all game. accounts, an over trainer at times. Works too hard. Now, that's a good problem to have. I wouldn't know about that particular <laughs> I was just going to say, did you ever suffer from that? <laughs> Let for service. Oh. 
15 love. He's got to get his focus back mentally. He's just let it all slip away here. Often you see a male player with more double faults and aces. Murray so far three aces, five doubles. Not a good serving day. Oh. Which is why he's pretty much resorting to try to spin his first serve in right now, and, he, and it's not going in. Shot there when Gasquet's ran a lot. 40, had to go back and hit ball that went over his head. Good time to pick the drop shot there. Let for service. Ball. And it doesn't do your confidence any good on your second serve when the guy is six feet inside the baseline and rips a backhand winner. Here. I mean, tennis players know that you often are pulling your head down when yes. the ball goes in the net. You got to watch the ball to hit the racket. Don't look to start looking where you serve the serve is going, and make sure that toss gets up high enough. Advantage, Murray. Leads three games to one, second set. So look at the Murray serve there and the spin that he puts on it. It's a top spin, sort of kick serve. Hasn't been finding its mark. It's cost him. Gasquet has been the force in this match. He's been the man dictating. And at the end of the first set, he found some inspiration to break the Murray serve. And Murray helped him in this set. Fifteen minutes. It's a volley that Gasquet knows he should have done more with. However, it was still a tough pass for Murray, who hit it a little wide. Makeable. Gasquet just looks quicker out there at the, at the moment than Murray. You're not 
taught to run through a volley. Fifth trying to get your body and feet planted. Looked a bit like a bit of a prayer there, but it sure worked. All of a sudden, Gasquet's missed a few first serves with these new balls, and it's a chance for Murray to get this break back. Half his first serves, Gasquet has served in volley. It's looked effective doing so, twice as often as Murray. Yeah. Huge serve there. 15-30 took something off it, made sure he got it in. That was 114. That was. Down at 129. Well done by Gasquet. Left for service. For me, Murray is uh, is a more competent volleyer. He's got better technique, he better execution, but Gasquet's been to the net more often. And uh, I think if Murray's going to try and turn this around, perhaps that's a tactic he's mm -hmm. going to need to implement. For a guy who has a two-handed backhand, he really hits that backhand volley quite well. Both players have been successful in coming in net, and here's a, a break point chance for Andy Murray. First one in the match. That Gasquet. racket speed that won him that point because it seemed like an almost impossible angle to hit that winner, and he made it look rather easy. Game, Gasquet. Gasquet leads four games to one, second set, one set to love. So the crowd is flat, Murray's flat, although he had a break point in that game, but it's well done so far to Richard Gasquet. How has he gone into this 7-5, 4-1 lead? Here's Jason Goodall. 
Sandy, just been taking a really close look at the tactics that Gasquet is incorporating into his game plan in this match. This graphic illustrates where he's hit each and every one of his shots, and we know he's at his most comfortable on the baseline. That's why he plays most of his tennis on any other surface. But on grass, he does fine-tune his game plan, and he comes in a lot more often in the opening set. He won 12 of 16 points in the forecourt, and overall throughout the course of the match, he's winning 77% of his points at the net. And as John suggested, he's varying his tactics beautifully. He's serving and volleying some of the time, but not all of the time. So he's keeping Murray guessing. And when Murray serves and stays back, Gasquet is very quick to exploit anything that drops short of a length. So John's absolutely right. Murray does fine tune his game plan, or Gasquet rather, on the grass. He does come in a lot more frequently, and so far today, it's working really well for him. It is, and his lead of 7-5, 4-1 played out under clear blue skies. Plenty of time here, but how much time has Murray got left? in this tournament. If he can't turn this set around, surely it's too much to ask to come from two sets down against a man ranked higher than him. It's all in the future. First things Minuses, first. Please. Thank Murray you. just has Anything to hold serve and you. find something in this second set. Fifteen love. Forty love. Forty fifteen. I think he thought that serve was out. Just wasn't prepared to hit a shot. Assume it wouldn't matter at 40 love, but that's the type of attitude you want to have. Huh. Oh, how's that for a return? Uh, he is so inspired by this situation. This chance to take on Murray here on centre court just belts this one. I remember watching Nadal a couple years ago here when he played an American, Robert Kendrick, down two sets to love. He held serve. Win the first game at there. He was pumping his fist, you know, Bamo, come on, I can do this. And you'd like to see more of this for Murray, even though he's down. There you go. So he almost had to break the last game, and he, like you said, Andrew, he needs to get back in this set. Fifteen. Oh. It's about as good a second serve as. You'll we'll see from Richard Gasquet, that's for sure. Put a little extra on it. It was the swing on the ball, wasn't it? Moving away from Murray, who has a tendency to just chip that forehand return. Which is why Gasquet zeroing in on it and then moving forward and cutting the ball off. That's just smart tennis from Gasquet. 30, 15. Got their game faces on as well. Come on! One of those guys is Arnold uh, Lagardere, you know. 
father used to own Airbus, and they've got a whole tennis thing working. The guy in the middle there, but well, they all have good tans, but the. Got some money to throw around. Top game yeah, from Gasquet. Now he's maintained the advantage he gained Gasquet early. Leads five games to two, second set, one set to love. Arno Lagarde, he set up this tennis team right next door to Roland Garros, which is where the French Open Championships are held. And he's put together a fantastic team of professionals led by, led by Patrice Hagelard. And he's, he's, he's just throwing the whole thing at it. The team so far is Benito Mahou. He's got Paul-Henri Mathieu. He's got Santoro and Gael Monfils as well. And he's got uh, Moresmo as well. He also owns racing club rugby as well, which uh, British fans of, uh, of, of rugby will know all about. And he's set up at the centre of excellence. And I'm not sure everybody in the French Tennis Federation is absolutely no, delighted. They're not too thrilled with the Lagarde right now because it's complicated their efforts. And they've made some real efforts, the French Federation. As, as we all know, they give a, a lot of opportunity to their young kids and really uh, has helped Time. bring as many Frenchmen to the top of the sport. I mean, it's incredible how well they're doing. Look, they feel like Lagarde is stealing some of their thunder. And that's uh, Willie Murray there. And it's great to see him here. He just came down today to see his son Andy play for the fourth time in a row on centre court in this fourth round match. Good field by Murray there to take that initial return in the air, or he would have been in deep trouble. Another great return from Gasquet. 30 left. Gasquet leads five games to three, second set. So what is Murray looking for here? Is Gasquet likely to serve to that forehand side and continue the attack that way? You'd think so after his success in previous points, previous games. But from Murray's point of view, I think he's, he's looking for a missed first serve. And I'd like to see an aggressive approach. Sun setting on Murray's hopes here. We'll see. Important game. Just wide. If it had traveled another foot or so in the air, it might have spun back in. But love 15. Chipping the return is all very well and safe, but Gasquet has too many weapons. Too many weapons. Well, you could look at the bright side. He's played three good points, Gasquet, and I'm talking about Murray, and he's only won one of them. So, not as if he's given this away so far. 
but for service. Gasquet playing the Murray game here, wants the same ball back again, he likes it. Perhaps it's not as fluffed up as the others, he feels like it's going to go through the court. If you hit a serve that big, I would have thought it'd fluff a bit. You want a ball with the least amount, the one you can hit the hardest. Another 40, long. 30. I think he wants it again. I, I think he does. Him. Here it is. <laughs> Can I have my ball back, please? <laughs> Certainly, sir. You have to congratulate him. He has produced the tennis. Murray's done everything he possibly could in this game. But it is a set point. Reminds me of Sergi Bruguero when he used to play chip every forehand return. He begged the guy, please hit one. I think once you've started chipping, it's much harder to make the transition to being aggressive than being aggressive mm -hmm. to blocking the ball. Second set point. Oh, boy. Well, Is that the first of the match? What part of Scotland is he from? Thought for a moment he just make it a little bit tight on that high forehand volley. It's not that easy a shot, especially played from behind the service line. Especially at this point of the match. It's well done. Third set point now. Gasquet was on total defense those first couple forehands and Murray went back at him again and he had a shot there to win that set. And he tightened up a little. Miss hit. That's for sure. Advantage, Gasky. OK, 
Killed violation, audible obscenity, warning, Mr. Murray. Well, he's been reported by the line judge behind him for having a bit of a swear, no doubt. We didn't hear it, nor did Carlos Ramos. Second set Gasquet. to the Frenchman. Six games to three. Gasquet leads by two sets to love. Now, this is going to be hard for Murray to take. Two sets down. This may be just the preliminaries. We'll see. No, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He thought it was for him. We thought the warning was for him, not for you. Admirable loyalty on Henman Hill. Third set. So, the start no of deserve. the fight back or the end of Murray's dream for this year? We'll see. Two sets down. The only time Murray has come back from two sets down is against the double specialist, Andy Ram, in a Davis Cup match. That was a couple years ago. Not looking all that likely at the moment, the way Gasquet is playing. 15 on. This is what all the hard work's for, though. We talk about you know, the added weight, fitness, putting in all that time. This one is where it's desperately needed. Thirteen fifteen. Well, that'll be a little Gasquet challenge the from on the, the Frenchman. Ball's called good. It seemed like there was quite a lot of dust or chalk or grass clippings or whatever it was thrown up by the ball. So just think of this. Marin Cilic, who's out in the court. Arnold Clement, they're battling it out. Well, Reiner Schuttler will be in Gasquet one of the sevens. Remaining. To play Nadal or the winner of this match. Sure makes it look easy, Gasquet, when he's in a flow. Certainly is today. It's just it's a smart play 30, by Gasquet. 30. It's heavily topspin depth. The only difference in the second set was the break of serve due to Murray's perhaps difficulty with the concentration after the disappointment of the first set. Just one break. It's a point or two here or there. This is an absolute key game for Murray to win. Second serve and drop volley. 
sort of an old-fashioned play. service. First game, third set. Andy Murray's been the centre of attention some of the time at these championships. He's been gritty in the first week, but there's a big difference between winning matches and straight sets. Well, that was and the this. infamous game where he missed th or lost three points because of the drop shot. Part of why people believe he can go all the way, get to the end of a slam, is because he believes in his, himself, he's stubborn, and he's going to do what he thinks is right. The hell with what anyone else says. Is it, it's, like, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it, John? <laughs> well, the hairstyle is similar. It was his brother, at least. How about that look with the red headband? You know, that's all gone. He's chopped it all off. Oh, he did. Did you not see that? Yeah. I, I didn't. Was that before the match or after? He played a doubles today, and Jamie's hair is finished. It's gone. It's no more. Was it so before they played in love? Last night. That was his mistake. See, he lost his power. <laughs> Fifteen. Thirty fifteen. Continue to be impressed mightily by the pace, the variety of his serve in this match. Really kept Murray off balance. Oh! Well, that was only his fourth ace, but it sort of seems like he's had a lot more. Hey! 30 over. Gasquet continues to look awfully comfortable at net. And finally, we saw Tim, lo and behold, he came over that for Aggressive return, yeah. and, and really, Gasquet was very lucky to win that point, but it was set up. Murray's point was set up with an aggressive return. I think it's something we've got to see more of, especially on the forehand side. Game, Gasquet. One game all, third set. Gasquet, a year older at 22. A lot of expectations for both these youngsters. Trying to rise to the occasion. Fifteen months. All to get a shot at Rafa Nadal in the quarters. Sure ain't going to be easy. Oh. 
30 love. Hopeful, by the way, that Nadal, who suffered that scare in the second game, where he looked to ex hyperextend his knee, not maybe as bad as Yankovic the other day, perhaps cost her the loss today, but he seemed to continue to move well throughout that match. Hopeful 30, that 15. that will not be a factor in the. 6 3, 6 3, 6 1. Well, was, looks like it will. No, no, it was not a factor, but Yankovic didn't look like she was hurting in the, the previous round either when she was pulled out that match. Maybe it was the fact that she was on court 18. And she was, don't think she was too thrilled about that. Yeah! 40, 15. Aggressive forehand return that we're hoping <laughs> yeah, for. Yeah, right. See, it's simple. Forty thirty. Do that. I think he read where that serve was going. Yes. Murray. Well, he hasn't doubted himself, has he? I mean, he understands as a match player where he is in this match. If he was to lose his serve here, you know, Gasquet would be closing in on the win. So that's the reaction from Murray. By two sets to love. Well, he's not going to flinch from the flight, from the fight in this match. He's thinking that he can win this in five sets. No doubt about it. He's one love up, or two one up in this third set. Jason Goodall. Thanks very much, Andy. We knew it was going to be important for Murray to serve well coming into this match. We know his first serve is effective when he gets it in. That's been part of the problem, though. He's only made 51% of his first serve so far, so that means he's had to rely on his slightly weaker second serve, which, of course, he hits with a lot more spin by brushing up and across the ball, but he doesn't hit it particularly hard. His average second serve speed so far, just 89 miles an hour. That's two miles an hour slower than Amelie Moresmo, and it hasn't been particularly accurate either. A lot of those second serves dropping way too short and it's been very predictable the vast majority of those second serves have gone to Gasquet's backhand which is a questionable tactic given that Gasquet's backhand is one of the very best in the world so I think the fact that Murray's serve has let him down so far today is one of the fundamental reasons why he's struggling to stay in the championships Jason thank you very much indeed for that struggling a little with his rhythm on his serve and perhaps the choice as well See if he can improve that. We've still got a little bit of sunshine left here. He sent today. him 10 Phillips' hat. That's a big, <laughs> big improvement over that. Not up. 15 month. You know that, uh, that membership that you had to work so hard to get. <laughs> right, not, I had to work so hard not to get. It's, <laughs> it's, it's gone the same way as the hat. <laughs> First guy in 100 years to win the tournament and not get it. And it's, that's not easy. Got it now? It took a, it took a while, a couple extra years, but he oh. got there. And here I am with, sitting next to Andrew Castle and Tim Henman in the commentator's box at BBC. See? It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful life. This is a continuation <laughs> of your punishment. <laughs> Not when you watch two guys like this play. It's yeah.
no foothold in this game for Murray. Two games all, that's set. I think it's difficult for Andy right now because he, he's trying to get that adrenaline flowing, he's trying to get pumped up and he's trying to get the crowd more into the match, but he really needs to give them something to get hold of and, and you know, that's really going to be a, a break of serve or, you know, getting his nose in front in, in this set. You can't act that, that just has to happen with a tennis, doesn't it? That's right. 15 months. You're just saying that so that all the years that you were out there, you can, you can space it on. See, I couldn't get the crowd going. <laughs> because you have to wait for a break. Left for service? Got to have other options. It's got to be other ways. I wouldn't be panicking at this stage. Two sets down. Nah. <laughs> It's a magnificent passing shot. How can we convey the sense of, sort of fluidity and motion on that backhand? It's, it's a virtually a half volley. Well, look exactly at this that. return. I mean, to start with that, he pulls him off the court. But, you know, look what that approach is. That's an excellent approach. Here it is. It's a big red warning sign over the Murray service game here. It's the right play, just can't afford to miss the shot. Fifteen fourteen. It's one of those classic cases of thinking about what just happened and not being able to forget about it. He missed a pretty easy forehand, loses that concentration, throws in a double. That's seven, six doubles this match. Two break points, Gasquet. Well, he's had good success. I mean, certainly a tactic he should continue using. Cut that ball off nicely. What does he do now with this second serve? In two and a half or three hours time, maybe sometime yes. tomorrow afternoon <laughs> when they've gone five sets and say, well, that was an important yeah, play. It sure was. A little bit of luck there. I mean, with backspin, wow. the ball generally hits the net and comes down. That one just flips over. Oh. Advantage, Murray. Pretty evident that he's got a lot of belief in his drop shot, hasn't he? Because he still <laughs> he, yeah. he keeps going for it. Doesn't matter the score. Oh. 
Dios. How hard is that forehand in the context of someone like Nadal? I mean, it's, it's up it's there, close. isn't it? Yeah, it is up there. The, the racket speed is phenomenal. It's also just so well timed. He tried to take his racket out of the way. I don't want to Chikaski. Then perhaps just... Then realized it was going to go in. Yeah. Don't ever leave a gas game <laughs> back out yeah. down the line. But that could be so costly. I don't know whether he wanted to play the ball or not in the end. It's just his decision making is too late. His racket was there, he was set to play it. And at the very last second, he said, I'm going to leave this. And ball's already on the frame. Take your time. Oh, yes. Excellent response. Dios. This is really testing times for him to sort of hang on to his newfound sense of calmness out there on the court. This, this is the moment. If he can get through this next 15 minutes unscathed, he's still in the match. And this isn't the easiest shot. Advantage, Murray. Hit a couple of those off the handle before. Oh, it's unbelievable yes. shot. There's no point challenging that. That's right in front of us here. It's taken so early. When will this Frenchman back off even for a second? It's amazing watching him in, on other surfaces when he gets so far back, pinned behind the baseline. How easy it comes to him, why he doesn't do it more often in every match he plays. He's got enough on that slice to cause it to skid there. Just through Murray. Another chance for Gasquet to break. Come on, Andre! Oh. Yes. And still the resistance continues. He can't even think about being aggressive until he's weathered this storm from Gasquet. That second serve was in the box, but 85 miles yeah. an hour to the forehand is... It's a, like a sitting duck for uh, Gasquet right now. He had to make that move here and guess right.
advantage Murray. to two, third set. Gasquet by two sets to love. Well, everyone's stretching their legs after that game. That was a, a crucial exchange between the two players. Murray's made of stern stuff, and let's not forget that little drop shot with all that backspin that saved him on break point. Of course, there were other break points as well. well he's shown a lot of grit now and some determination, and he's seen a lot of high-quality points. Now that fitness that off court training is going to come into play more to see how fit he truly is because he's going to need all of it to come back with Gasquet. He's got to make Gasquet feel that he can go the distance and make it all the way back. That's the shot there Find that Gasquet seat, thought he saw Thank the you. opening. Perhaps time he gave away ever so slightly where he was going to go with that pass. Crowd are ready to be involved. Please, thank you. As in the old days of Henman matches. Thank you. Seats, please. I mean, if, if Murray can pick up this set somehow, if he can sort of survive this Gasquet barrage and win a set, well, that would be interesting. He doesn't look like a man who's spending too much time thinking about whether or not he's going to stop hitting clean winners. He's just going to keep on hitting it. So far in this match, Gasquet's 39 39. winners, seven unforced errors. And it is the ratio of winners to unforced errors which is often the key. But that amount of winners, John, that's high. That's some quality tennis that he's been playing. His last match against Gilles Simon, he ran through the first couple sets, ended up losing the third set in a tiebreaker, got down a break in the fourth Gasquet before recovering. Interesting to see if he'll keep up this level. Gasquet has been directing 
serves out wide plenty of time big down the middle as well high percentage but James it's incredibly can generate so much pace out wide there in the air code. that was a 134 he generally loses the, in. the neighborhood of five miles per hour maybe when you go out wide but man That return was absolutely blistered to have that type of feathery touch after oh, after having to deal with such a hard return. That is awfully difficult. Let for service. I like when he sets himself up there, lets that ball drop a bit, give himself a little time. Sometimes he's so eager to get to the net, he has a tendency to overrun that forehand. 40-15. Third set, Gasquet by two sets to love. 7.37 in the evening. Sun setting in the west. We look out over there, nice clear skies. No need for this roof. It might turn out to be the biggest white elephant of all time. Don't need this roof for <laughs> <laughs> on center Just court. in case, not a bad idea <laughs> to have around. It's been a wonderful Wimbledon, hasn't it? Those uh, two big trusses there, those white things on top of the roof, they're 70 tons each, they are. And there's <laughs> got to be eight more have got to be put in place before the end of next year. And these folk here are not going to be able to get in when the roof is closed, that's for sure. But it'll be moving slow enough that, that we're not going to get a pigeon stuck up there or anything <laughs> like that. Do they have to clear them out before they shut the roof? That's... Time. We've got a, we've got a Harris Hawk who does the job. I've forgotten his name, but well, maybe it was Harris the Hawk, provided by Wandsworth Council, as far as I remember. And how much longer has Andy Murray got in this tournament? Aske is serving with a two-set lead. He's three-four down in the third set. Fifteen love. Roll the ball down, please. Bye -bye. Thank you. It's a nice way to start a game when you're looking to finish off an opponent. Two lines, first two serves. Make that three. Forty nine. That's why. Andrew Murray was holding up three fingers there, just saying, oh, I can't believe this. Well, if it had held up any less fingers, there'd have been questions asked. <laughs> Peace, come on. Game, 
Lewandowski. <laughs> and even the lead yeah. from the Frenchman turns out to be world class. Four games all. Just yeah, nonchalantly letting it fall over the back of his shoulder. And of course, it was five minutes. <laughs> they even do out that with flair, the French. Yeah. They're shot makers. Okay. Crowd know where we are. Fourth or third set. Must win service game for Murray. No, no. Love 15. Quite a casual little volley, really. Gasquet is going to be disappointed that he didn't make Murray hit another volley there. 15 on. Admittedly in a defensive position, but had time to line that one up. He can wield that racket, obviously, but he's obviously stronger than you think. He can muscle that backhand cross court for a winner. Played on the overhead, he chose not to. And these are desperate times for the British number one. Not easy time to have to hit a big first serve when you're winded like Andy is right now. Thirty forty. Played the high percentage first serve at 15.40, sliced away from Gasquet, and then that second serve to come in on that. Knew that return was going to be low. Excellent volley. Too soon, Gasquet saw it. Use the lob. Advantage, Gasquet. Payback. 
Gasca leads five games to four, third set, two sets to one. Extended applause, Tim Hedman, for what was a superbly constructed rally. Yeah, an impressive series of points at obviously a critical time. And he really selected, uh, held the, the shot at juice with the topspin lob. And then this one set up the shot that he really wanted. And he's has, not going to miss that. Has Murray looked flat to you? I don't think he's looked flat. I think you've got to give a lot of credit to this man. He's uh, to Richard Gasco. He's played a fantastic match so far. And uh, he's got one very important game coming up. But uh, I don't think Andy's been allowed to play really the tennis that he's wanted to. How does Gasquet approach this game? One game away from the quarterfinals, John. Well, Gasquet obviously is going to be, that heart's going to be spe speeding up as we speak, looking to finish him off. It's, it's all come so naturally for him so far, but clearly he's going to look to get some first serves in and move forward like he has been doing. Andy Murray hasn't broken the Gasquet serve once in this entire match. This would be a good time to start. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Challenging the call on the left fast sideline. The ball's called good. Looked like it was good from Gasquet's yeah. reaction as well. Oh. Love 40. Gasquet has one challenge remaining. Thank you. Thank you. Fifteen forty. The most success he's had is hitting that serve out wide and slice it here on the deuce court. He had gotten away from that earlier this game. It's a bit of a coliseum in here. Thank you. Ready for play. Thank you. Touch there, still down a break point. 30 40. Maybe he's the only man who hasn't heard the crowd and what they want. Let the service. Thank you. Quiet, please. 
Quiet, please. Thank you. Oh. Fifth in line. Fifteen on. Thirty fifteen. <laughs> you know, they, they sell the tennis balls after they're used here. You can buy used balls. You wouldn't Ladies want to buy that please one. Please do not speak during the rally. Thank you. Well, okay. You would if you're a French. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Andrew. It was a little bit short, wasn't it? But we talk about talk about top spin. Well, those two sh last two shots are called flattening it out. He's really just hit straight through them. That is his hardest serve of the day. Advantage one thirty six. That return yes. was almost as hard as the serve. Just where are you supposed to serve to this man right now? Swinging. In the corner, hard. Right. <laughs> yeah. Got a new life, and he seems to be taking advantage. This would have appeared to have been over by now.
certainly Gasquet knows by now that He's that's a strong possibility that shot's coming. He's able to ge generate tremendous spin on that forehand to dip that ball in. to his head there, uh, Andy Murray, like, did I do that again? <laughs> Maybe it means play it more, play it more. <laughs> Every shot. You may have been I, right. I think that was <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like somebody who just yes. cannot help themselves. It's like some of those crackers you get. You've got to have one more. <laughs> What am I doing? Coach, coach! It's your fault! <laughs> Nothing Miles can do. Miles McLagan, back to Juice. Yeah! Well, he wasn't going to play a drop shot off this one. And if he had, his coach might have come down from the stands. If he gets out of this game, the crowd are going to adore him. if he wins this point. He's got him on the edge of their seats. Gasquet's being affected by Thank this. You. Thank you. Good. How do you... <laughs> he makes it look so easy. That is a very tough shot. Well, it's not easy playing Gasquet in France. It's not easy playing Murray here. But every I time. think it's easier playing Gasquet in France. This I just is... know it's much harder watching. <laughs> <laughs> Proof that he's feeling it, and that you just saw it on that return. Thank you. Thank you. Gasquet's going to challenge it. Well, that was a, a very quick overrule from Carlos Ramos. And that overrule was challenged by Richard Gasquet. So we've got an electronic storm going on here. So he's out of challenges now. And 
Gasquet has no challenges remaining for service. by two sets to long. Tim Hedman played 57 matches at Wimbledon. 41 of them were on this court. Wow. Did you not know that? I did not know that. Have you heard roars like that before? <laughs> I know you have. But were you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. The, uh, the support here for a British player is absolutely as good as it's ever going to get. And, and in a match of this nature, it's exactly what Andy Murray needs right now because it's lifting him, but I really feel that it's just starting to get into Gasquet's head a little bit. And now serving 5-6, having served for the match. He never we'll lost see. his serve until that game. There's been talk about his resolve and his mental toughness at times with Gasquet. The talent, you see, he's got to show that he can get it done here now. Time. Ready for play. Quiet, please. Thank you. Oh. Got no challenges remaining. has been up two sets to love, both in Davis Cup matches. Usney, who lost to Nadal today, and Leighton Hewitt beat him, or excuse me, at the Open, U.S. Open, a couple years ago. So he's lost two set leads twice, you say? That's what I'm saying, although it may be a misprint there. No. <laughs> he's lost four sets, according to that stat sheet. And you only, you, three you lose, right? Legs looked a little heavy there, not even making an attempt for that shot. 15 all. The Frenchman looked out of ideas chasing that Murray drop shot. And now it's Murray, two points from the set.
Thank you. Light for service. Ever so slightly, Gaskins getting a little unsure of himself. Murray is so close to really making a match of this. Advantage, Gaskins. Gaskins used that serve out wide so much. You think Murray should? Stand over a little bit, give him the one up the tee. Well, I think that he's starting to come over and he's getting more confident, you know, willing to really go after that, but yes. Exactly what you were just talking about. If he had stepped to the side a few feet, he perhaps would have forced Gasquet to hit a different serve. So at least Gasquet has one challenge if he wants to go to that during the course of this tiebreak. Trying to keep himself loose over there is Gasquet. Gasquet. It's not going to be easy to do. 1-0, Murray. He wants to hit freely. He wants to hit winners, but this man has turned into granite towards the end of this third set. He's giving nothing away. And add to that a bit of tension in the arm. Oh, that's wide. That's a shot I don't think he's missed once the entire match till then. 3 0. No. Thank you. Quiet, please. Thank you. Four 
zero. Murray. Can't help but respond to this. this. He's orchestrating the crowd in here. Four, love. Got Gasquet frustrated, obviously. Good play there to come in on the second. Hope for easy error. Still in a good position. Gasquet's gasket is about ready to explode. <laughs> System in a tie break lends itself to this drama, doesn't it? Just two quick points from Gasquet, they change ends now. And... First player to seven points, 4 2 Murray. serves the next two points and he'd feel a whole lot better if he wins the first one Just laying it all Murray. out there. Unbelievable effort by Murray. Thank you. Six, three, Murray. He's a young man in a hurry. He wants it right now. He was down and out in this set. He's turned it round. Three set points, Murray. Something. It was crazy. He was. I think he was. Up, he might have been on the concrete when he hit that one. So he's playing a hard court tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Here, watch this. Oh no, he played it on the grass. That's allowed. <laughs> that is a magnificent. Oh yeah. Boy, has he <laughs> has he got two more sets in him like this? It's every point. What a wonderfully played tie break. Well, that one, that no one in here thought he could make that one. This is how good a feeling is this? This was the this was the no look backhand. We got to look where you're going firstly. Got to make sure you don't hurt yourself <laughs> and get up there. 
I thought he might do the rock and roll thing and dive into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of surfing in the crowd. <laughs> Boy. And I have to point out quickly that from restudying my stats. Here. Okay. We, Never we, has we, he lost a two sets <laughs> lead, Gasquet. Let me just get that. We're in. coming back to your numbers in a moment, right. but we're going to Tim's Hill All right, right now. Right, Sue. Nobody leaving. Everybody texting saying, I might be a little bit late. Are you watching this on the TV? And the players come out for set number four. Murray has been for his comfort break. 9, 9, 15, something around. 9, 9, 15, something around there. I'll tell you what he's asking is if he pulls out this four set, will they even play a fifth set? And that's debatable. 9. 9.15 possible, probably a little bit later than that. It's been going to 9.25 and 9.30 play here, so... But the question is, should they start the a fifth set at close to 9 o'clock? Murray has to win the fourth first. But good, good point. Gasquet's five-set record, four and six. That is accurate. Not particularly good. And the match against you at the five-setter that I pretended he blew a two-sets to lead, he cramped. So he's never lost a match from two sets up. Yeah. Will you double-check that for uh, me? I have done. He has never Thank lost you. a match from two sets up. Thirty <laughs> love. Game Gusky. First game, full set. Surely comforting for Gasquet that he held at love. He's serving first. That probably helped his uh, mind a little bit as he has to face the fact. Oh, that's a nice little view there. Isn't that nice? He threw way over to the left. Central London over there. And coming back to Wimbledon, the Millennium Centre down there. The new building on the left. It'll always be the new building. Centre court and court number one. Fifteen miles. Oh. 
Well, there's been times where Gasquet's heart's been questioned. I thought he, could, he could shut down some critics if he could get his act together here because he's playing well enough to, to get to the quarters, that's for sure. He pumped his fist when he won that last service win. game to show the people up in the box that he's, look, he still wants it. He's not going to go away. Trying to pump himself up here. Thirty One game all, four sets. That was a strange tie break those uh, eight minutes ago, wasn't it? Murray off to a four-love lead in points, and then Gasquet came back to 4-3, and then some extraordinary tennis. Now the atmosphere is different in here. It's much calmer. Just building up in this fourth set now. court two hours and 50 minutes it's pretty, pretty pretty physical match you wonder to see if someone gives a little here better hope Gasquet is very fit because mentally he's he's lost it here just a touch that so combination could be a problem for him so for the match in the second set when love 40 down came back hit by Gasquet too as well as Murray has these early opportunities to take a lead and break the serve of Gasquet. by two sets to one. As well as with great play, he's done this with willpower. That has affected the Frenchman this evening, hasn't it? Absolutely, and just uh, watching Gasquet walk to the chair after missing that forehand on break point, there was a shake of the head and a look to the, his player's box, and, and um, he's certainly not looking as assured as he was. And of course, 
with this man down the other end, it's it's difficult. I mean, you're, you're both your your dads and your mums and everything else were always up in the box. I always saw your dad mostly, John. What was it? What was it like for them up there watching I you? I was often through? begging him to change his pants at least. You know, the very bright pants. But he was always Find very upbeat, please, and please you can do it. Thank you. And, uh, it's a big please. believer, bigger believer in me than I was in myself in a way, which was Fine. helped propel me. And uh, I, I thank him for that. It's certainly, it's a comfort to have the. It's the family great. up there. Great to see Willie Murray up there. We so often talk about Judy and give her so much of the credit for uh, ready for play. For Andy. It's also Ladies annoying when things aren't going well. For now, please. Yeah. What do you say? I can. Thank do you. <laughs> More of a hothead like Murray. Fifteen line. Gasquet was in this very same situation. Two sets up, line. lost the third set breaker in the previous round, got down an early break. Difference, obvious one. But such a partisan crowd. Not the case in the match against Gilles Simon. He clearly has lost his edge here. This is when you start scratching your head a little bit with Gasquet. He's been in the fourth round of big events before, of course. The Australian Open last year. He lost to Rafael Nadal in five sets. Wimbledon lost to Baghdadis 2006. Silly now, top sport, both players. Murray no, really still is. with a break of serve. To two. Fourth set, Gasquet by two sets to one. Seems like they're playing table tennis out there these days. 
Such is the speed of the racket head and the timing from both players. And we've seen it throughout this tournament. There's been some unbelievable tennis matches. Marit Safin was fantastic against Seppi. He was very good against Djokovic as well. Well, there's been a change in the sport. You've got more power in the racket than you ever had. You have more racket head speed. So the players, even though they're bigger and stronger and fitter, are using lighter frames. So they just trem generate tremendous spins and pace on the ball. And you've probably got better courts as well to make some of these shots possible because the bounce is so true, so consistent. Time. Thirty left. It's been a performance of rare dinner. maturity from Andrew Murray. New maturity. He grew in the first week, and he's trying to get to a quarter-final of a Grand Slam for the first time in his career. Richard Gasquet here is the 10th best player in the world. Top Frenchman, a brilliant junior, a former world number one, and a man who was a semi-finalist here last year. In a magnificent quarter-final, he defeated Andy Roddick from two sets down. An argument could have been made that uh, Gasquet was an underachiever till last year when he came from two sets and a breakdown to beat Roddick and get to his first Grand Slam semi. And he's, it's been disappointing for him since. And this would be a devastating loss, as scintillating as he's played most of this match. To lose a match, which he's never done from two sets up. Already a breakdown here in the fourth. Murray looks the more confident of the two at the moment. Perfectly placed there. Gasquet shaking his head. This is a sign that he might be going away a little bit. Love 30. Gasquet served for this match, an empty feeling having lost that game. A brilliant tiebreak in the third set to get Murray back in it, and now he's in control of the fourth. Thank you. Oh, now don't start taking the crowd on, Richard. Oh, you've got enough on your hands with Andrew Murray down the other end. Remember when he was chipping his return? <laughs> Full of confidence now. Just total Love shift in momentum. 30. 
and racing along in this set. 21 minutes Thank gone. You. This is going so fast, this set, that the probability is that they will start and possibly finish a fifth 15, set now at 8.35 here in London. Well, looks like we're going five sets here on centre court. Andrew Murray, what a phenomenal performance this has been, really, to come back. Who said it was never over till it's over? And then there was that set point, of course. Probably the highlight of the match so far in the third set tiebreak. Well, you missed an absolute cracker here. Check this out. Tie break, set point, Gasquet, easy put away, but no. And he's halfway up in the crowd, joining his people. Watch this here. Doesn't look at the, when well, he hits the winner, he sees that, he's very happy. Watch your step. <laughs> uh, my brethren, follow me, my brethren. He really, he really got him going, and he's doing it again now. He's got the wave working. Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, it comes to something when the Aussies Ready are supporting a Britain. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 15 love. Gasquet is looking up at the umpire, Carlos Ramos, and just saying, is this OK, this crowd? He might be hoping they'll call it after four sets, but that's not going to happen then. 13 line. And Gaste might be looking for the bathroom break after this set. Three set points. Oh. Please. Center court. Now, as Tim Henman predicted, Richard Gasquet is taking a bathroom break and he's being followed by one of the linesmen here perfectly naturally. One or two people in the crowd here in center court uh, are booing, but this is a perfectly logical step to take. And you know what? He might actually need to go to the toilet, okay? So <laughs> Gasquet takes a break. First time a guy's been booed going to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so into a fifth set we go. And over on Hemman Hill, they'll be enjoying this match for sure. This is a spectacle.
Well, this is like a concert in here, Sue. I can tell you, people are having a great time. He has done so well, Andy Murray, to get back into this match. Tim Hanman here is more nervous than he ever was as a player during his 40-plus matches. We don't have an opponent for Andy Murray at the moment. Richard Gasquet is taking, let's call it, an extended bathroom break. <laughs> and Tim, having a good time? When, yeah, absolutely. And when Richard Gasquet comes back on the court, he's not going to be yeah. serious more booing. popular. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Come on. He was asked in the press conference whether he'd be comfortable being the villain. And he said it's fine, but I, I don't think he's finding it fine now. It's a tough gig for him. Time. OK. Seat belts on, even in the roll box. Final set. Gasquet to serve. Quiet, please. One Thank set. You for a place in the quarterfinals. Gasquet serving. Yeah. 15 love. Gasquet's footwork has gone downhill in the last set or so. His movement not as good. Is that nerves? Is it fatigue? He's certainly struggling right now. Not nearly as consistent as he was the first couple of sets. Seen a lot of tennis. This is as exciting as it gets. He told me it was his first Wimbledon. How do you think Gasquet would feel to lose his opening service game, having had a two-set lead and serving for the match? It could devastate him. He could use some of those, that's for sure. Gasquet find his confidence. talked about Murray's commitment to fitness and it really looks to be paying off right now because he seems a fresher and quicker mover out there right now. Advantage. 
Murray. Didn't miss no one of them for the first three sets. In the fifth set, the targets get smaller, harder to hit. And here is a break point. Yes. Well, he knows he should have given that a go there, hit that return. He's got Gasquet on the ropes. Wasn't a particularly hard serve for a Gasquet standards at 113. It's another easy, pretty easy miss. I mean, it's everything seems tough for Gasquet right now. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Try to be aggressive on that one, but it's just really tension in the arm. Couldn't quite accelerate with it. Just sort of fell off the racket face, didn't it? Into the net with two break points in a row. just took Gasquet's best shots and threw them right back. Thank you. World-class defense. Thank you. And let's see if he can miss the net on the return this time. Too good. Yes. Wow. Some game here, first game of fifth set. Both players digging deep. Fifth break point this game. Thank you. Most of the 15,000 people in here, that is a remarkable game. There's no way the crowd are going to be quiet in the middle of a rally here. Well, Gasquet knows that too. Just total Thank discouragement. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He lost that Thank point. You. This game, Quiet, please. the third set. Thank you.
When's the last time you could say that Murray was in front? Swift in line. He wasn't, I mean, how can Gasquet, you're right, this, this, this is a losing argument. I think he might be trying to start talking about the light as well, and I think fresh airing a shot's going a bit far. <laughs> Let for service. Halt. And the energy levels of the two players is very, very different right now. This could be one-way traffic fairly quickly. Could be. Thirty-nine miles an hour, miss, but full of adrenaline. Cascade's gone back on defense. And Murray's made three straight unforced errors here. Amazing amount of chances he's had in this match. just emphasizes the importance of this game he knows that he's got the momentum with him if he can hold on to his surf here stamp his authority on the fifth set good job it's not best of seven or he might just keel over <laughs> Of course, he has been known to keel over before on a tennis court through a physical depletion, but not now. He looks in great shape. Surely there's enough light for tennis here to at least 
15 miles. Mario Ancic, the Croatian player, and David Ferrer played till 9.25, 9.30. There's the tournament referee. He'll make the decision. Not Gasquet. That's Andy Jarrett. Oh! Again, Gusky. Murray leads. Two games to one, final set. At this stage, you got to believe it's all about heart, desire, how deep you can dig in that well or reserve belief. Of course, these guys are fit. They've talked about how hard they've worked for many years of the young careers to get to the stage where they can deal with a five setter as we see Andrew Jarrett walk on the court. Jarrett, the tournament referee, has just been on. He's had a quick word with the referee or the umpire on the court. Time. And with Richard Gasquet, he says there's plenty more light. Of course, we'll bear in mind all your concerns, Mr. Gasquet, but we're playing on at the moment. We uh, will not consider stopping until you break back. <laughs> Every ball that Andy Murray sees flying long or into the net or a poor shot from Cascade, he's one more point closer to the goal here, which is a quarter final at Wimbledon. But the service with Rafa Nadal, who's had a nice long soak in his bath yeah. and he's ready to run. Quick, quick three set win. There's no question who believes in more right now. Looks to want it more. Full team out.
It's almost like there's a connection between the crowd and Andrew Murray now. It's like he's taking their energy and, and vice versa. He's turning to people in the crowd, specific people, constantly. Clenched fist, sort of snarling. He's been doing it since he got back into this match in the third set. He's even acknowledged the total strangers who have been up out of their seats. He's given them a couple fists as well. Spreading the wealth. <laughs> oh. Sharing his joy that he's in a oh, winning gosh. position now. Gasquet is challenging the call on the left of his line. The ball's called down. Been a while since the last challenge, hasn't it? It's been a while. Trouble is, it gives the crowd something else to cheer about. Second service. Challenge, I think, from Murray, who says, Murray. I think that ball was out. Ball on the left, far sideline, the ball's called good. No challenges for two sets and then two, two points. Like buses, Tim. And this one was also a failed challenge, so good call 30 from love. the line judge. Both players have two challenges remaining. I don't like that look. You should know it. It was never good, was it? Yeah, well, at some point, I sort of dug it. <laughs> 40 love. Oh, dear. Mm. That was... One of those thuds. So comfortable service game for Richard Gasquet, but he has no more than a foothold in this set. He's lost his serve already. It's 3-2 Murray in the decider. John McEnroe alongside me. They've sampled this atmosphere countless times. Murray so close, but lots of work to do, Tim. Absolutely. And, uh, absolutely. and I think um, for Andy right now, he's, he's in this moment. He's only thinking about the first point of this next game, and quite rightly so, because he doesn't want to get ahead of himself. One game at a time, one point at a time. 3-2 Murray in the fifth. 15 love.
13. Again, you got to look at that fitness because uh, Murray's first serve is really picked up here late in this match, in this fifth set. Fourteen. two aces this game. How's that? Murray leads four games to two. Final set. But he was that close to winning the point. 15 love. Couple more big forehands being hit in that rally. <laughs> 30 love. Flashes went off in the crowd. That threw Gasquet. Yeah. And Sampras broke that record with Rafter. They were just going crazy, all those cameras. What? He's going to have to deal with that, Gasquet. Thank you, all. Six points away from winning this, but that might as well be a million miles. Forty-thirty. Just likes the same ball back after a good point. Waits till they get recycled from the other end. Game point for three four in this fifth set. Yes. There's a lot of people sensing another breaker serve. to his 15,000 friends in here. It's a Gasquet challenge. challenging the goal on the right near sideline. <laughs> they both the challenged out. it. <laughs> Did they? <laughs> Murray said challenge, the outfall came, then Gasquet said challenge.
Dius. Twelve minutes past nine on this uh, Monday evening. Light fading. Another break point saved. Is it always this nerve-wracking? When you English guys play, yeah. No, we were always really relaxed when you were <laughs> up there. Apologies to all the Scots watching. Sure, throwing it all at him. He had the Frenchman on a string here, didn't he? Pulled him in with that and then just a lift over the top. Thank you. Right, please. Well, if she had a tail, she'd be wagging it. She's having a lovely time. Murray directing the attack to Gasquet's forehand and getting reward. It's a break point. Murray doesn't break here. We're not sure whether there's time for two Murray service games. <laughs> Could well be an I'd overnighter. Say there is, yeah. It's getting tight, though. Hey. Advantage, Gasky. Can't stop it at 4 3 or 5 4, though. Ticket holders for tomorrow will be interested in the end of this match. idea of how dark it is in here. Advantage. Pat Gasquet beat there. Over hit. Just a little too hard. But he tasted that. He wanted that. Of course he wants to get that insurance. Knees 
Eyes are buckling. He's against the ropes. One Just final blow to put him away. Well, last year, Tim Henman, you were five all in the fifth set, and uh, you stopped and had an overnight break. What uh, What do you think here? You've been out there a few times, including at this time. Well, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not Andrew Jarrett. That's all I can say, because uh, he's obviously the man that's got to make the decision. Gasquet here wants to stop immediately, but uh, that's certainly not what Andy Murray will be thinking. Would you think the toughest thing to do would be to return? I mean, the serve, you got a good idea of where you want to go. There should be a decided edge for Murray here to serve twice. And I like Andy Murray coming out of the chair a little early. Yeah, <laughs> better believe it. Now, we don't, I mean, this wave's a good idea most of the time, but maybe not now. <laughs> Show some heart, show some heart, they say to Gasquet. He held his serve in the previous game, that was heart. Now he tries to break. Another 15. Wow, it is getting dark. Well, you think so. You a ball that high, you often or should let it bounce. I mean, he was very Thank close to the net. Ready for play. Quite please. Yeah. We all feel pretty much the same way. Fifteen all. Tremendously smart passing shot. Such a tough shot to handle. Fading light just over the net. Looking at nobody and everyone at the same time. Countless times in this match he could have capitulated, but he hasn't. He's come back 
from two Thank sets. You. Ready for play. Gasquet served for the match and choked a little. Murray helped Thank him. You. And now Murray, four points away. That's why. Oh, 15. Gasquet is challenging the call. On the left, near sideline, the ball is called out. Don't like it when Murray grimaces. He's got an injury list as long as your arm. And this ball wide. Lot 15. Gasquet has one challenge remaining. Might have one game remaining, too. 15. Fifteen. You know what he was complaining about there? No. I don't either. Any idea? No. Let. I think he was saying let. let. Okay. Thank you for <laughs> saying that again <laughs> and clear the clear <laughs> that up. Let for service. Thank you. This just wasn't possible a couple of hours ago, was it? But here right, he is, please. on the verge. Right, please. Yes. shot there. I don't know about you guys, but I can barely see out of this. <laughs> what do you say your name was? <laughs> Game point, Gasquet. game I would my, my prediction no complaints from the Frenchman certainly no complaints 
from Andy Murray here, just sitting quietly. Murray contemplating what's at stake here, which is a place in the quarterfinal. Nadal must be loving this. The, the whoever wins this opponent, I mean, he's sitting there letting them beat up on each other. Not a lot of light in here, that's for sure. I don't know whether they got floodlights out on Henman Hill or not, but we're going to say good evening. <laughs> Time. Okay, so this Ready is the play. most important Quiet, game of Murray's Quiet, life. Please. No question about that. Quarterfinal or bust. Here we go. One down. Sword, die exactly. by the sword. Thirty fifteen. Challenging the call on the left far sideline. The ball's called good. Neither player looked like they think this was out. <laughs> That's miles in. 40 15. Gaske has no challenges remaining. Thank you. Phenomenal performance from the muscle man from Dan Blaine. <laughs> oh, that was a muscular match, and the crowd adored this man. of him because he must be disappointed but it's Murray's Monday here at Wimbledon <laughs>